How to make vegetable soup. Who doesn't love a nice warm bowl of vegetable soup? No matter the occasion, vegetable soup is a healthy and satisfying dish. This recipe will go over the basics of making vegetable soup, but it can be made with any vegetable, so the recipe is completely customizable. As long as you have about a pound of vegetables you like the flavor of, you're ready to make vegetable soup. This soup can be expected to feed four people. Preparing the ingredients. Wash the vegetables. Use cold water to rinse all the vegetables you will be using. For vegetables with thick skin like potatoes and carrots, use a vegetable brush to scrub them. Place the vegetables on a towel to dry. Dice the potatoes and celery. Use a sharp standard chef knife for dicing, chopping, and slicing. Place the potatoes and celery on a stable cutting board, then cut them into cubed shapes. To do this, make slices all the way across the vegetable that are about three quarters of an inch apart, then, turn the slices and repeat. This will create square dices. The dices do not have to be perfect, but they should all be roughly the same size. The smaller the dices are, the faster the potatoes and celery will cook. Chop the green beans. The ends of green beans have a small string you should remove with a knife or kitchen scissors. Then, chop them into smaller pieces that are about 1 inch 3 centimeters. Use a measuring cup to make sure there is at least one cup of chopped green beans. Snap peas or thin asparagus stalks are good substitutes for green beans. Slice the carrots. You can peel the carrots if you want before slicing, but this is not necessary. Cut off both ends of the carrot. Now, you can slice the carrots into half lengthwise down the center. After this is complete, dice the carrot crosswise into small pieces no more than one half an inch thick. You can try heirloom carrots instead of regular orange ones. They are easy to find and add a colorful burst of flavor to vegetable soup. Buy baby carrots if want to spend less time chopping. You can throw baby carrots in the soup hole. Winter squashes like pumpkin can be substituted for carrots, since they have the same texture when cooked. Mince the garlic. If you're using fresh garlic, you will need to peel two to three cloves to mince. Remove every layer of skin from the cloves, then crush the cloves with the side of your knife. This will make the cloves flat and easier to chop. Roughly chop the garlic, then gather the garlic into a pile, and chop once again. Continue chopping the garlic until it is entirely in small pieces. Many people like their food with lots of garlic, so you can use more than three cloves. Garlic is also sold already minced. Continue chopping the garlic until it is entirely in small pieces. Many people like their food with lots of garlic, so you can use more than three cloves. Garlic is also sold already minced. Measure out one cup of corn kernels. Use a measuring cup to set aside one cup of corn kernels. Frozen or canned corn kernels will work for this soup. Substitute peas for corn if you wish.